must be very galling, you know, if you're Meghan Markle, because whatever you feel that you're a duo, you know, one together, all that sort of stuff. You like to be billed as Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, even though titles mean nothing. You like to walk in front of Prince Harry, even though, of course, he's a prince of the realm. Of course, it's all about equality in Meghan's world. So you can understand, when you think about it, how these particular setbacks for the former cable TV actress must really irk her. And more importantly, really, how does she get over that and you have to feel sorry in some respects for Prince Harry having to live through it as ever let me explain hi good morning how are you nice to see you you're right thank you so much as ever for joining me thank you by the way for your lovely comments on our recent video regarding the comedy legend Dick Emery oh you are awful yes that stirred quite a lot of memories didn't it love him still funny today not offensive just a lot of fun with a lot of talent and what a plethora of wonderful characters that really do live on. And you remember, everybody knew those phrases, didn't they? You know, think I've got it wrong again, Dad. You remember the vicar? Oh, with the teeth? Just brilliant, was he? <laughs> Just loved Dick Emery. If you need cheering up and you want a good laugh, root him out for free on YouTube. I promise you, it will put you in a better mood. But as I said in the video, Mandy has to be my favourite. I just love the line. Here's a charming young lady. Anything but, but funny nonetheless. Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. Yes, you see, as we started the beginning of this year with Prince Harry's book, he didn't have to go through the audacity of having to present his story to Penguin Random House. They just very readily handed over millions of dollars, you know, because they wanted Prince Harry to sign with them. Of course, they knew his story. He had a reason story you know no two ways about it brought up within the most famous family in the world and of course the tragic circumstances surrounding his dear and beautiful mother but you see things are radically different when you are a non-entity like Meghan Markle particularly when your story is ever evolving ever shifting you see for Meghan she's had this now well, quite big humiliation. Let me explain. Meghan earlier this year was touting around the idea of her own memoir. I know, that would be fascinating in itself. I mean, what can she remember? What can't she remember? If she can't remember a system with a book, how truthful will her memories be? Now, according to a very well-placed source, her new agency were very active in sort of pitching out an idea, you know, what would it be worth? What sort of money would she be looking at? You can understand it, you know, absolutely. Now, what was interesting was that, well, a few publishers did show interest and as I said to you before, they are interested. They feel they can make a buck on her, but it's all about the money they would have to shell out. So can you imagine the humiliation when they said, well, we'd like to see at least three chapters first to see how the story pans out. Now, this I know in the world of publishing means one thing. They want to see if you've got a worthwhile story and if it's just a rambling book all about how you climb to the top all with that sort of you know um, useless speak that they have you know leader of my own orchestra that type of stuff you know now apparently Megan hasn't got to that point at all she's got lots of notes and she never signed an NDA so it shouldn't be a problem but the problem for Megan is sticking to the same story as we've told you time and time again and this is now the sticking point the idea, though, is, and this is the spin back from the agency, is they can't trust giving anything out to a publisher without top-level security because, of course, it could get leaked and then put out and then the whole deal will be ruined. The publisher, though, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, and there are three of them, are not shifting. So the memoir remains in limbo. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.